Well, how do that, Chums? Design Captain of the Steves, and today, Chums, I'm playing a little bit of No Man's Sky because we've still got some phage words to learn. We've still got some frigates to get up to S class, and we've still got to learn all the language. So, to the Viking, Gak, and Corvax, we're on the Viking right now, people. Let's head on in and let's go and debrief my frigates. I guess. Boom. Hello there, frigate commander. Yes, we're debriefing Batfing today. His wings are like a shield of steel. I guess they are. Right now, so we're going through there. Lovely jubbly. And be cool. it'd be cool if these came back with learning some words of the Viking, Beck, Gek, and Corvax, wouldn't it? There we go. Done, diddly, and done. Right now, so let's um, head on back out here. I'm just going to hit a quick save there, even though I don't really overly need to. And run down and speak to this little Corvax chum. I'm going to send my frigates out on another mission until they become. S class. Now I'm going to go for something quite quick. There's an hour one here. Yeah, why not? Actually, this one's only an hour and it's two stars. It might give us a little bit more prowess. Right, so here we go. Let's head on over then. Let's see what we've got. We've got an A. We've got a B. We've got a C. I haven't renamed these yet, people. And um, I'm going to be sending out a couple of my mining vessels, I suppose, and people. We'll send out Black Star and Jace and the Wield Warriors. There we go. Chikapow. They're off on the mission. Nice. Okay, so what I normally now do is jump to a Viking dissonant system. Yes, there's a reason I go to dissonant systems. And the reason why I'm going to Colvax is to learn the words, as you, as you know, anyway. So here we go. If I go for life form, and we're looking for Viking, which are red systems, and we're looking for dissonant, rather than it saying water, we want it to say dissonant right there. Let's have a look over this way a bit. Water, 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 water everywhere. Dissonant, not to spare. There's one, and it's Viking, lovely jubbly, and we're off, I guess we are. Right, well I've arrived, and now that I have arrived, let's go and scan this system and see which planet is the dissonant planet. Hopefully it's going to be a gnarly nice one. Okay, you did, ah, oh, great. It's um, an incandescent planet, Solarium. Is there any other dissonant ones in this system? Uh, no, it doesn't look that way. So it's the ringed planet we're going to for the dissonant signals. And then that way we can get the radiant shards that we need. Because what I'm doing is over on the catalogue, we're learning the Viking words. We haven't quite got there yet. We're on 905 words. There can't be that many more left people, surely. Right, and we're also going over to the autophage. We've got to get up to 350 before it shows us the next freaking milestone. Got a fair, I've got a feeling that there's at least 600, but we'll see. We'll see, people. But look, we're um, eight short on shards to get to our next milestone there, so that's pretty cool. We've got to do another six or so missions to get that up to the next level. So I'm hoping to do all of that today and maybe do two more repairs on autophages to push that up to the next level. Then hopefully this standing is going to rise because I want to get the standing up with the autophages, learn all the words for the next update, just in case there's any new groovy lore in there that I'm not going to understand. Right, you know what? I'll see you guys down at the actual planet and we'll be hitting up the words of the Viking. In fact, you know what? Before I go to the planet, I'm going to go to the station and learn some Viking words. I'll see you at the station, people. Okay, we'll have a landed in the side of the station. We're going to be running up and we're going to be chatting to the Viking to see if we can exhaust their language set. And you know what? As we fly down to the planet, if we don't, I'd look for a trading post. And we can hit up all the Viking at the trading post as well and learn their words. Hello there, warrior rub. Right, well, I'm just going to go around. I'm just going to do this on every single one of the Viking up here. And hopefully we're going to learn all of the Viking words. Okay, chums, this is the last Viking up here. Yes, this one here. Last Viking. Let's see if it comes up with nothing else learned. Let's give it a go. Quest dialect help. Mystery symbol. And still learning words, people. So, yeah, I'm going to go to a station. Well, now, station. Trading post down on the planet's surface. At that ringed planet. I'll see you at the trading post, people. Okay, oh, nice one. Okay, now, chums, every single time I've gone to land at a trading post for the last couple of episodes, it misses the freaking landing pads. Let's see if the same happens again, people. I'm actually recording this time. Normally, I record after I've landed. Let's see how we get on. So here we are. I wait until it shows a green circle, and I'm pressing square. Oh, freaking works this time, doesn't it? Yeah. Then again, I have been knocked off at this stage and landed underneath it at one point. But there you go. That seems to work now. Well, we've arrived at Let's head on down and let's start talking to some fuck 
Viking! Right there. Hello there, my Viking chum. How are you today? You got a word for me? I guess you do. That's how it looks like. Mystery symbol. Right, well, I continue. It looks like a... Uh, oh, we just hit up a, a planetary record for the hottest planet ever. Okay, something I've noticed, chums. When I'm talking to these entities, it teleports me behind them. So I'm going to end up through that doorway in a minute. You watch this. So here you go. Request dialect help. Let's see if it does it. It probably won't now I'm live streaming. No, look, it put me back there. All right, well, let's see if it works with this one. I'm noticing it more and more often now, people, that it's teleporting me behind them for some unknown reason. <laughs> and it didn't do it this time. Go for fudge sake. Well, trust me, chums, it does normally. So say if I spoke to this guy from here, it would then teleport me to about here after I finished chatting to them. And it's happening quite a lot. And I just didn't do it then when I was trying to freaking live stream it or, or capture it from my capture card. Anyways, as you can see there, I'm still learning blinking Viking words, people. Now, this planet seems to have extreme blinking storms, which I didn't know it had. So this is not the best planet. I am, however, in creative mode right now, so to be honest, it doesn't overly matter. Right, anyway, let's hit on up a camp for the pages. Boom! And we're going to go to a page camp and pick up some missions. Okay, well, I've arrived located at the actual place that I need to be at, and I'm just going to be using my runic lens. Yes, it's called a runic lens in this multi tool, pretty darn sweet. I'm just going to get myself some of those lovely, lovely crystals. Let's jump on down here. And let's do a scan. Chikapow! And there's my autophage chums. Hello there, autophage chum. And now I'm just going through, and I'm, I'm learning a bit of language first. Lovely, lovely language. Learning a word of the autophage. Going back in again. Hello there, autophage chum. I'm picking up the mission. Offering assistance. Repair lost autophage. Well, as you know, we've got to do a couple of them. So nice. What about you, mate? You got me anything cool? Practice language. I'm just going to go through, do all their missions, do the dialect help. We'll see how many autophage ones we pick up, people. I might as well just do one more mission with this one. Is he going to give me a repair autophage as well? Let's have a look. Offer assistance. Start mission. Okay, cool. Okay. And let's go and offer him the salvage of the ship. Bam. Right, well, I'll just go around and do the rest of this camp. Then we'll go fix that autophage. Maybe hit up some knowledge stones of the Viking on the way there. I don't know. But anyway, I'll be back with you in a bit. Yeah, it's been doing it again, people, where it keeps teleporting me behind them. I'll see if it can happen again this time. Okay, probably isn't going to work now. Now I'm recording again. Up. Oh. Up, 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 up. Maybe it's because I'm pressing X to get through the menus quick. Who freaking knows? Anyway, let's um, pick on up this one. Offer assistance and start mission. No, uh, it's not what. Never blinking happens when um. Oh, there we go. Yeah, put me all the way over here. Now, maybe it is because I'm pressing X. Maybe it's the double jump. Maybe it triggers just as I go into the menu because I'm pressing X like a mad thing to get through the menus. Maybe it's me. I don't know. Okay, so there's an auto page somewhere around here to repair. Well, looks like there's another radiant shard over on yonder hill. We'd have that. I guess we will. Right, where are you, little auto page dude? 119 used this way. Okay. There he is. Let's go fix the K-Tim. Chicka-boom, chicka-pow, chicka-done. Sweet. Poor little autophage. Zoom. We've got some more autophages. Right, so that's that's the fun all over again. Heck yes, it's the song that never ends. It goes on and on, my friend. Go. Okay, request dialect. Well, my days. Mysterious symbol. Nice. And let's go hit on up a mission. So, I think I look. Ah, I think I just moved forwards. You see that? And I was in. I was inside of the text then. We go start mission. Repair autophage. Nice. I oh, know. Put me in front of him. So I really don't know what's going on there. Then people. Uh, hello, mate. Where are you off to? Yeah, hold still. Want to chat to thee? 
There it goes. Anyway, I think you get the idea of what I'm doing, people. Picking up missions, chatting to them. Job done. Okay, chums, well, I've called in my Exo Craft. And there's a reason why I've called in my Exo Craft. It's because it's got a scanner in, and I can scan for an alien monolith. Like yours. Alien monoliths have got three knowledge stones are sat upon them. I'm hoping to hit on up those knowledge stones and hopefully complete this Viking language. But yes, I've done quite a lot of autophagy stuff, enough to make myself bored to death. So I'm going to stop that for a moment, people. I'll head on over to the monolith and do a couple more Viking words and hopefully at least complete something like that during this episode. Anyway, it's going to take me another 12 seconds to get there. Okay, we're touching down, and as we're touching down, I've already spotted that there's some radiant shards in close proximity. So I think I'll be zapping those, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Lovely, lovely. Now, what I'm not seeing on this planet is many knowledge stones out in the wild. I mean, look, I'm just doing a little scan around. Obviously, there's three here, but there's nothing on yonder hills. Oh, actually, there's one just over there. So it hits up these, and there's one 300 U's away. And we'll see if we can get some more radiant shards as we go over there. So we've got dream, dream, a dream, assume, and what's this one over here? Note. Okay, sometimes there's some very rare story lore inside of the monolith that teaches you the odd word. Let's see if it if it gives me any words with this one. I don't think it will, but there we go. Sacrifice the creature. Sweet. And no, I'm not going to learn any new words, but it did up my standing. Anyway, let's head on over towards this a knowledge stone then people and hopefully there's going to be some radiant shards on the way which there are 200 use that way so might as well jump over this way zap those and then pick up that knowledge stone see if there's any other knowledge stones in near proximity from here lovely jubbly check out any other knowledge stones in close proximity to this one I don't think there is. I haven't seen many knowledge stones on this planet, like I was pointing out earlier. I mean, yes, there's going to be some back that way, but no, no others this way. You see what I mean? On the smaller planets, usually you can sort of trail knowledge stones. Standing at one, you'll see another one, etc, etc. But no. Hold on, there's a trading post there. Is that the same trading post I came from originally at the start of this video? Probably is. You know what? Doesn't hurt in looking, does it, people? If it is, then I guess we end off, and uh, we go. Well, we we'll wait until my my freighter is is in in sight. Might as well pop these. Go on, pop! Damn you! Heck yes, one radiant shard. Any second now. Now it's gonna pop. Come on, you know you want to. Fudge and heck, that's taking a lot of blasting. But then again, I am like six miles away. It's taking ages, though, isn't it? Holy fudge! There you go, we've got another raiding shard. Cool, you! And let's fly on over to that trading post. It says it's an hour away, though, people. Where's it gone? There it is. Okay, I'm going to get there in seconds now. I'll see you at the trading post, people. Dang it! Yeah, it's the one I visited before, people. Look, they're all saying visited. So, yeah, already done all this, peeps. So there we go. Um, I'll see you up at my freighter after my frigates have done what they need to do, people. Okay, Gogi. I'm going to jump in and out to my ship, even though I haven't done anything since I last jumped out of the ship. Thank you. I'll see you in a bit. Back up on my freighter, people. And then we'll check how we've done today on the autophage and the Viking. Well, how do that, chums? I'm back aboard my good old trusted freighter, the Red Dwarf. Let's head on over. And let's start debriefing. My frigates. Let's see what we get this time. Not that it overly matters. I'm just trying to class them up to S. Debrief. Let's go on through. Lovely. Get a little bit of firmatic condensate and some celestial swords. Okay, right. Golly, yeah. Let's head on down then. Let's go and speak to this guy. And let's see if we can send my frigates out on another mission. Hopefully they're going to level up a bit. Hopefully they have already. We shall see. So now I'm just going to choose a really long one. Actually, this is a free star. Two hours. I'd rather go for the two hours three star over the two star. The, might as well. Okay, righty. Oh, let's go and assign these ships, shall we? Oh, look. One's gone up from a C class to a B now. So they're making progress, surely but slowly. Uh, let's go on over here. Let's just pick up that one. The little green man and zoom, zoom. Okay, I think that should do the trick. Yes, launch. Chikapow! They're off. 
my cursor yeah righto people so let's have a look how we're doing now with our autophage progress back in right so we have the viking we're now up to 919 words so it's just tipped over the 19 fresh the 900 threshold we're now on 919 so it's highest medal achieved but we still haven't exhausted all the words there's still more to learn the autophage we're up to 325 words getting close to that 350 for the next milestone we completed the 50 missions it's now gave us the mission marker of 60 and uh, the radiant shards the milestone has now moved to 125 and there they yeah, have we've managed to fix the 15 auto pages it's now jumped up to 20 so we've still got a heck of a lot to do people and we're doing it daily we're not going at it hammer and tongs we don't want to get ourselves exhausted heck no we don't no so just taking our time you know it could be a little while until we see an update i'm thinking mid to late october so we've still got a fair old way to go we've still got at least got another two to three weeks so yeah there we go people that's my thoughts and feelings on this i'm, I'm not going to rush by any stretch of the imagination i'm just going to enjoy this one and uh, if i did go crazy i would only make myself a little bit bored and exhausted i'm glad i've got some other games to distract me at the moment i'm happily playing um you know well playing cyberpunk now i'm going to be playing the cyberpunk dlc towards the end of this month that drops actually tomorrow tomorrow the 26th and i'm also playing a lot of starfield so you might see me a little bit more active on those two titles and i'm still doing this though inside of no man's sky but at least you know that i'm still doing something in no man's sky i haven't just fallen off the radar i'm just not doing anything overly exciting but I'm bringing you along with me anyway, even though it's not overly exciting. I'm hoping you're enjoying yourselves and I hope you're managing to do something and keep yourselves busy inside of No Man's Sky. It's a big freaking game at the end of the day, isn't it? No Man's Sky, it really is. And I also want to redesign my freighter layout. Yeah, I want to put in a news desk at my um, freighter. Although I've got news desks down at the trading posts, they tend to move. And also, all the beings down at the trading posts... Well, the archives, I should say. They all make Viking noises. The Gek, the Corvax, they all make Viking noises. It's, it's a little bit immersion breaking. Hopefully they fix that at some point. Hello, games, if you're watching. Anyway, until next time, goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.